Hello everyone, welcome to the Triple Whip Cycles YouTube channel. Uh, here we're going to cover today a DIY way to get a cassette that is spinning in both directions to catch correctly and spin one direction. So we're going to start by taking off the cassette. To do this, uh, you will need a cassette removal tool. Um, you don't need a chain whip. Uh, you can just use an old piece of chain and some vice grips, as I've done here. So spin the lock ring off for the cassette. Remove the chain tool. And then once you've done that, the cassette gears will just come right off. Now as you can see, this free hub, which is the center portion of the cassette, is spinning in both directions and it's not catching on the uh, internal poles of the free hub. So to start with, there was a lot of gunk down inside here, so I'm just going to spray some WD-40 and, and clean it up with a toothbrush. And that's just to clean it up so that uh, it makes working on it a little bit easier. Alright, you will need a 15 millimeter cone wrench. Uh, this is 15 is the most common size uh, for a lot of these older Shimano hubs. So you'll need a 15 millimeter and then a 17 millimeter for the lock nut. So once you've broken that loose, take the lock nut off and then you should be able to back the cone out all of the way. There's the cone right there. This one looks to be in good condition so I'm going to save it and keep it. And also the bearings looked like they were in very good shape, so I reused them to just rebuild this hub. Notice I only took the cone and lock nut off of one side of the axle. The reason for this is so that when I rebuild the hub, I don't have to redo the centering of the axle. So the wheel will stay in the same position that it was beforehand. So here I'm trying to uh, loosen the, the free hub. I've got a 10 millimeter um, Allen head extension with a 10 millimeter wrench around it. I've broken loose the lock nut inside the hub and now I'm backing that out and that's going to allow the free hub to fall out like that. So there's the free hub body by itself. As you can see again it's spinning both directions. So a DIY trick that I figured out uh, to save money and to get these things working correctly is to just get some degreaser and squirt it down on the inside uh, through the little gap right there. Usually what happens is over time they sit or they, they just get a bunch of gunk built up inside the inside the freehub body assembly and it just it, uh, it clogs it up and it keeps it from um, engaging properly. So when it does that you can try to flush it out with some degreaser and it'll start to catch again almost but within one or two sprays of degreaser, it'll start to catch again. Then what I usually do is just keep spraying more and more through it, uh, try to get it to where it just feels really nice and, and smooth with no resistance. Once I've done that, I spray this WD-40 gel lubricant uh, inside the little gap and keep filling it up until it starts to come out the other side um, of the free hub and that it'll be like a dirty brown uh, liquid. You can see it on the paper towel right there. So keep flushing the lubricant through until it comes out clear. Once you've done that, take grease and grease up the inside of the, uh, the free hub. Put some grease on the threads so that it'll be easier to remove next time. Make sure you put a good coating of grease on the um, everything else on the inside of the free hub. This is the portion that will go down inside the hub, the actual wheel hub. Uh, so it's important to get a good um, seal and a good coating of grease to give it some corrosion resistance. Now this is back on the hub, I'm actually get, putting some grease on the inside of the hub as well. Um, this is just to just make sure that the free hub has plenty of grease and that there's not going to be any water entrance into the assembly.
Now with the cassette reinstalled, this wheel is rebuilt. The cassette is spinning correctly in the left direction and catching when it goes the opposite direction. So this wheel is finished and ready to use. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please check out the channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more DIYs and restorations and other tune-ups on other mountain bikes.